The 12 foot bone collector is a new for 2024 Lowe's Haunted Living animatronic. Well, I finally did it. I have finally acquired my first ever 12 foot animatronic and the bone collector is officially the largest piece in my 80 plus prop collection. This guy is manufactured by Techie Design and his tremendous quality makes him stand out even among other giant animatronics. His outdoor rating is extremely legit and super impressive. Just take a look at this storm I left him outside in. He still works perfectly and is totally okay out in the elements, making his $400 price point even more worth it. Without any further ado, let's unbox and set up the Bone Collector. For everything scary, I'm GM Haunts. And welcome to yet another Halloween 2024 animatronic unboxing setup demo and review video now this unboxing is special for a couple of different reasons number one i am so excited to say that today i am unboxing my first ever 12 foot animatronic because what i have today as you can see by all the parts in front of me is the lowe's halloween 2024 12 foot bone collector animatronic now this video is also super special because this unboxing is actually in partnership with Lowe's, which I am so grateful for. Obviously, I want to send a huge thank you out to Lowe's and the creator team for making this unboxing possible. And if you would like to pick up the 12 foot bone collector, make sure to check out the link that is at the top of my description so you can keep an eye on when this guy releases online for order. As of right now, you cannot order him online, but he will be available very, very shortly. So make sure to keep an eye on that link in my description so you can order this guy as soon as he comes in stock. So obviously, I normally don't start my unboxings with all of the pieces already out of the box, but the Bone Collector has a massive package, a massive box, that in order to get him home in the car, I actually had to slice the box open and fold it up because the box is just so huge. So all the pieces were taken out in the Lowe's parking lot, but I tried my best not to look at things too much because I really want to have my first reaction in this video. And you will notice that a lot of the pieces are still in bubble wrap, and we're going to open them up in just a second all right so obviously this guy has a ton of pieces but i think we should take a look at the most important one first and of course that is his head so as you can see it is still in the bubble wrap i have not opened it up it seems like there's a lot of tape on this thing very very nicely protected which is awesome i do want to mention that the bone collector is manufactured by techie design um so quality will be very very good and it looks like the top of his head is uncovered here from the bubble wrap so let's get this open and ladies and gentlemen here it is i have not taken a good look at it yet i opened it up uh, from the back so i didn't take a look at the face it's massive i haven't looked at it just yet i'll give you all the first look at it here is the bone collector's face i'm gonna take a look and this thing is heavy too it's big oh my gosh it is so cool looking look at those eyes that the bone collector has they are glossy they look like real eyes and obviously when this guy activates they actually move around like a real human being this thing is huge look at it compared to my head how big bone collector's head is Look at me holding it here. It's absolutely gargantuan. Um, obviously, with him being a 12-footer, the head is just massive. So, so, so cool. Look at that awesome face. Okay, here we have the next piece of the Bone Collector, and it took forever to get it out of the bubble wrap. Really nice packaging from Techie. But this is the one hand, hopefully you can see the hand part of it right there, that is holding the bag with the skeleton in it. So you can see the skeleton head right there and some of his arms. This is a huge piece also. I mean, just take a look at the size of his balled up fist there that's holding the bag. So here's this piece. Inside of this other box, it looks like we have all of the pieces for the bone collector shovel and take a look at that the shovel head look at how massive that is as well bigger than my own head is the shovel and then we have some pieces uh, for the shovel stick but this thing is huge the quality of it is really heavy also take a look at that awesome paint job too to make it look like an old shovel this looks amazing here we have the clothing bag for the bone collector and even this thing is heavy so you know the quality is good because even the clothing has weight to it 
Next up, we have the Bone Collector's legs, and these do have some plastic kneecaps already on them. Here we have the shoes for the Bone Collector, and these things are super large, just like all the pieces are, but they're also a super nice quality. Hopefully you can see that they're a really durable plastic material that also has some really nice weight to it. They're a black color um, with a nice sculpt in there, and again, just about bigger than my head are both of his shoes, so these are also massive. Inside that other box, it looks like we have some support poles, one that has the control box on it with the adapter already attached, and obviously, as you can see, he does have the outdoor uh, weatherproof adapter as he is an outdoor animatronic. Here we have a shoulder frame and a giant waist loop. This is the other bone collector hand, and this is holding a little part of the shovel stick. In this little box, we have some ground stakes for uh, using him outside, and then here it looks like we have a shoulder mechanism. And then, of course, you cannot forget about the base, which is absolutely huge and super heavy. Uh, also has a lot of tethers on it that you have to cut. Okay, so we have all the pieces taken out of the box for the bone collector, or I guess I already had them taken out of the box, but all of the pieces unpacked, and it does take a while to get everything out of the packaging because bubble wrap is on just about everything. But first, you're going to lay the base down, obviously, with the front sticker facing the front of the animatronic, and then we're going to grab the two poles, one that is labeled as A and B, and the other being labeled as A1 and B1. We are simply going to snap lock these in right to the base, and it does matter in this case which, go on, which one goes on which side. So obviously you're just going to match up the A to A, uh, which is on the left side of the bone collector. So make sure that snap locks in. Then grab the other one that has A1 and snap lock that in matching the A1 side. Now we can add on the bone collector's shoes and it looks like they are the exact same part. So this one does not matter on which side um, each one goes. So simply slide them over the poles and you'll notice those little metal pieces for the feet to go over top of. So simply slide the shoes right onto the base. Next up, we're gonna put on the bone collector's pants and you do wanna make sure that the sticker that says front is of course facing the front of the animatronic. So simply slide the pants right over top of the metal poles. Now we can take the pole that has the control box on it and we are going to simply snap lock this on matching B to B. So this will go over on this side, just snap lock it in. Now we'll take the pole that's labeled as B1 at the bottom and we will snap lock this in to the opposite side from the control box. Now we can grab this upper waist piece right here that is labeled as C and C1 on the other side. And obviously you're just gonna match it up with uh, over here, snap lock that in, and then over here matching C to C. Now we'll take this piece that's labeled as E on the top and D on the bottom, and this is going to snap lock in to the D poles that are up there. You may want a stepping stool to do this to make sure that uh, the snap locks go in, but snap lock this piece in. So at this point, you are gonna have to tip the bone collector over. Now the instructions recommend that you do it with the box, but obviously I did have to cut the box for mine so it wouldn't work on that. You can also use a chair like I'm using here, but you are gonna have to tip him over because of how tall he's getting. So now we'll take the waist loop, the giant waist loop that the bone collector has, and you're simply going to add it right on to the body. Now we can grab the upper shoulder frame piece and we're simply going to snap lock this in uh, matching the E to E, so snap lock it in. So now you're gonna take out the four carabiners with the wire that is included on the flat cardboard piece that came with the instructions, and you're simply going to open up the carabiner, and we're gonna attach one to each uh, upper shoulder. So attach one up on this side, open up the next carabiner, Attach that one to this side over here. Again, just let them hang. We don't have to untie the wire right now. Then we're going to take the two other ones and attach them to the middle here. So attach one on the front and then one on the back. Now we can go ahead and attach the first arm. I actually was wrong in the beginning. These are not kneecaps or leg pieces. This is actually an arm and an elbow uh, cap, I guess. So this one we're going to simply attach F to F on the shoulder frame. Now we can repeat that step and attach the other arm. You're simply going to match G to G. Now we're going to attach the shoulder frame wire to the top of the bone collector's body. You're simply going to match up the blue tape to the yellow tape. So this just goes right through the holes, the pre-drilled holes that are on top of the shoulder frame. I didn't film it because it took quite a while, but the next step is to put the shirt over the entire frame and slide both arms through each of the sleeves. It does take a little bit and it is a little bit tedious because the shirt is so large, but make sure you get the arms through the sleeves. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has come to put on the most important part 
And of course, this is the head. So this is a simple snap lock connection. Simply slide it right into the spot or the little connection that's coming from the shoulder frame. And this is, I believe, H to H, I believe. So snap lock on the head. Also at this time, we can go ahead and Velcro on the bone collector's hood. So this is another Velcro connection. Simply uh, get the hood out and put it over top of his head with the Velcro strip that's right on here. Now we can pull the tethers or the bungee cords from the two shoulders and the front and back through holes that are on the shirt. Once you've pulled all of the bungee cords through the holes that are on the shoulders and the front and back of the shirt of the bone collector, we can now add on the hand that is holding the bag and the skeleton. So this is a simple snap lock connection matching eye to eye. Now we can go ahead and snap lock on the other hand and this one is gonna be matching J to J. So once again, simple snap lock connection, slide it in and snap lock it. Now we're gonna take the upper part of the shovel that is labeled as M and then this part doesn't have a label because it's the top of the shovel. So we're gonna add this on to the top here. It is a simple uh, twist lock connection. So make sure it fits in and then just twist it. So it locks on, you can kind of twist it, make sure it's in there good. So add on the top of the shovel. Now we can add on some extra supports for the base. So we're gonna snap lock on some more poles uh, matching L to L on one side. Then we're gonna come over to the other side of the base and match K to K. And again, these are just some extra supports for the bone collector. At this point, you can stand the bone collector up and the instructions do recommend that you have two people do that because he's pretty heavy and like one gigantic thing. So once you have him standing up, we can add on the next piece of the shovel. Um, this is labeled as N, so just mask, match end to end. It's exact same kind of connection as for the top part. You simply slide it through by matching the shape up. A little bit difficult because you can't see it, but slide it right on. Next up, you're going to attach the bottom of the shovel. This is the actual shovel piece, and then you can snap lock it on, matching R to R on the base. Now we can add on the final support pieces for the bone collector's base, and these are the ones that are labeled as S. Uh, the other ones labeled as S as well. So you're going to snap lock these onto the base, and again, these are just additional supports. For the next step, we can, of course, pull up the bone collector's pants and these go up and over the waist loop, and there is also some Velcro on there to attach to his shirt. Now you can open up the small box of ground stakes that comes with the bone collector, and you can go ahead and push these right into the ground if you're building on grass, and put them right into each corner of the base, so there are four of them that you can use on the base, and these really just secure onto the ground. And ladies and gentlemen, we are finally at the very last steps of assembly with the Lowe's Halloween 2024 Bone Collector. First off, you can attach all of the wires, connect all of the wires, I should say, that are within his body coming from the control box into the head and everything like that. So connect all of the wires. You can also tie up these bungee cords that are on the front, back, and both sides to something, objects, or something most likely connected to the ground, wherever you're going to be displaying him so that he is secure. And and then finally, you can select your setting on the control box if you want to have him on sensor or something like that, and then Velcro the back of his shirt. All right, so here he is, the Lowe's Halloween 2024 12-foot bone collector assembled in all of his glory, now in one single shot with me and him both in the frame at the same time. I'm gonna say right now, before I even jump into the review, this was not an easy setup. And for someone like myself, where this is my first 12 footer, there definitely was a learning curve and it took me quite a while, but I'll talk about that all more in a bit. So for now, let's take a look at the demos. Your soul 
shall be vanquished in the deepest, darkest dungeon if you do not leave now. All right, so you just saw the demos for my Lowe's Halloween 2024 12-foot bone collector. And overall, this guy is the definition of a phenomenal Halloween prop. Now, we've gotten used to seeing 12-footers in the market for a couple of years now, obviously. But this being my first ever 12-footer, they are absolutely massive. And you know, we hear 12-footers so much in the market nowadays. But always seeing one in person and up close and building one is totally different than hearing the phrase 12-footer because you see how massive they truly are. I mean, take a look at this. But he also has a ton of girth to him with how big the body is, how big the shovel is. I mean, take a look at that. Look at the shovel head, it's massive. The shovel is probably around eight feet tall, maybe nine feet tall. This guy is just a gargantuan animatronic from his height to his width to everything about him. He is a massive prop and he is 100% a standout item in his size. Some other things that are phenomenal with the Bone Collector are number one, the animation. The animation is so awesome in real life. Obviously, he's got that head turning animation that's sort of like a slow head turn that makes it look like he's like slowly looking around. But then the even cooler thing is the animation within the eyes themselves. The eyes look around in all sorts of different directions and no, they are not an LCD digital screen with just like a digital pattern. They are actual eyes that have a real motor in them that makes them move around. They are real things and they look so awesome and so realistic. Another amazing thing, the other thing I was talking about is the audio. This could quite possibly be one of the best audio that we've ever seen on a retail Halloween animatronic. It sounds like a pro prop. I'm not even exactly sure why it is, but the phrases are so just classic Halloween and relate so perfectly to the character himself that this guy feels like something that you would purchase at like Transworld being a professional animatronic. The audio has amazing lines to it. The voice actor is phenomenal and the the bass that it has and just like the loudness of the audio is so awesome. I also want to talk about the quality of this animatronic because honestly I was super super impressed with it while doing the assembly of the bone collector. Like I said this guy is manufactured by Techie Design. Techie made him and the quality is outstanding. Absolutely one of the best quality animatronics in my entire 80 plus prop collection. The 12 foot bone collector is retailing for $3.99 at lows for the Halloween 2024 season. So 400 United States dollars. And I honestly have no problem with that price tag. You are getting a 12 foot animatronic with amazing quality, great animation. And like I already said, phenomenal audio that I honestly just really adore. So 400 bucks, it really doesn't get any better than that. And like I said in the beginning of the video, please head down to the link in my description so you can keep an eye on when the 12 foot bone collector will be listed online on Lowe's.com for purchase so overall i am so so incredibly happy with the 12 foot bone collector he is an amazing animatronic possibly even a perfect animatronic and i want to send a huge thank you out to lois for partnering with me on this unboxing to provide me with the bone collector i am so grateful for the opportunity and i want to send a huge thank you out to lois home improvement for working with me on this unboxing and also for working with techie design on making a phenomenal 12 footer in the Bone Collector. But I guess, remember as always, for everything scary, I'm GM Horns. I'll see you guys later for more Halloween 2024 animatronic unboxings. Goodbye.